Russians have developed an answer to the KF-51 Panther and the EMBT, which were recently shown at the Eurosatori 2022, or at least that is what some Russian media wrote. In truth, the new tank is a project from the students of Bauman Moscow State Technical University. But truth to be told, it does have potential. Let's take a look at it. At the first glance, it might look like a slightly modified T-90M, but it is so much more than that. The tank has many issues of the ex-Soviet T-tanks fixed. First thing you may notice is the Basso autoloader. That is right, this tank no longer has the infamous carousel on the bottom of the turret, and as such, the turret is lower. That is because the room in the hull has been freed up and the position of the crew can be lowered, therefore the tank's turret has a lower profile and can give the ability to install more armor on it because of the saved weight. You may also notice the bulge on the turret's roof that is most likely there to increase the gun depression of the tank while still keeping the low turret profile. If you look at the hull design, you can notice that it is different. Driver's periscopes are now behind the driver's hatch. This would indicate that the hull design is the one of the Object 187, which was a quite promising tank project that sadly went nowhere. This hull design gets rid of the weak spot that all Soviet tanks have, which is the cut into the hull armor to install the periscopes for the driver, by moving the periscopes behind and thus making the driver sit further back. This design inherently fixes that issue. So this tank design fixes the problem of the ammo detonations, fixes the poor gun depression and fixes the hull armor weak spot. Why haven't they done this before? But there is more to it. The fire control system appears to be the same as the one of T90M, the main gun sight with the integrated thermals the backup site the double and the commander's panoramic site with the remote weapon station. The commander's hatch and cupola also appear to be taken from the T-90M design, which is good, this cupola is so much better than the old Soviet design and offers a much greater field of view. The turret also seems like the welted T-90 turret, present on both T-90A and T-90M, but with an obvious difference of being lower than the aforementioned turret. The Basso autoloader appears to have ERA mounted on it through the entire length, which is a bit strange, especially considering the fact that there is no ERA mounted on the turret sides. It is simple steel plate armor, which is obviously not a good idea. Both T90M and T72B3M have ERA mounted on the turret sides. It is strange to see this changed on this vehicle, since the ammunition is placed in the safe storage, it would be more important to protect the turret sides, since if the ammunition is struck, the tank and the crew will survive. The same cannot be said about the turret itself. But, of course, this is just a design from some students, it means nothing. The hull appears to have extra ERA mounted on the roof, which is a nice idea because it can definitely stop some rockets shot from an upper angle, like in urban warfare. But it will definitely not stop a direct hit from top attack munitions, because the roof of the tank is a simple steel plate. Speaking of the top attack, the tank appears to be lacking any protection against top attack munitions, and since top attack is now in massive use, with enlons and javelins, having any form of the top attack protection is pretty much mandatory for any new design. The tank also lacks any hard kill active protection system, which could be a solution for the top attack threats, but of course, this is a design for a tank, the APS can possibly be installed later. Of course, if Russians even had one, they could install on it. The gun could very likely be the 2A821M, which is currently installed on T-14 Armat tanks. This gun is longer than the old 2A46 series and offers an increase in the kinetic energy and thus increases the penetrating capability of the projectiles. The Basel autoloader could also allow the use of longer APF-SDS projectiles, which is currently a problem for the Russian tanks, except for the T-14 of course. The mobility is completely unknown, of course it is, it is pretty much just a model. But if this tank ever becomes anything more than that, it is very likely that the 1130 horsepower engine of the T90M would be used. I just hope they don't keep the stupid 4 km per hour reverse speed. At the end, for just being a student project, this tank seems very promising. But we most likely won't ever see it being adopted, because it costs money to properly upgrade tanks, and the people in charge seem to like to avoid wasting money as much as possible. The cheaper, the better. And this would not be cheap. Hello! I like money! The best thing would be to install a gun attack protection system from Armata on this tank, if it ever comes to be, that is. But again, it most likely won't. 
That would be all. If you like my content, you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.